Hello and welcome back. This is Dave Briner from Synergist Technologies. Um, if you're with me on my last build, um, my last video, you you know that I was working on a router fence and um, and we applied joints to constrain uh, all the parts that I built. So on this one, uh, what I would like to do is add some hardware, and uh, I just think this is a really uh, useful and slick application uh, to be able to insert parts so um, what we do is we're going to go to um, the insert panel here and down here is insert McMaster car component and I really really like this uh, this feature I, I just think it does such a a nice job and uh, McMaster does a great job on their models so um, I'm not sure the first part I want to put in is a T slot so and I, I can come down here I'm not sure where to really find it so uh, let me just go in here and type in uh, T slot and uh, let's try maybe this one here extrusions let's see what this one gives me that's not too bad so um, it's more over here uh, the fixture track and this looks a lot better and um, I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna select I want it three quarter inches wide half inch deep um, my fence is 30 inches wide so I'm guessing I'm probably gonna choose this one here um, let's take a look at it if I go to the let's pull down a little bit and if I go to the product detail it's going to give me a lot of information so it's 36 inches long it's going to tell me uh, it's three quarter inches wide half inch deep uh, slot width 3 8 so it's giving me a lot of information here it's really nice and all I have to do is come down here and you're going to see uh, it's got a little bit of a drawing that works nice so uh, all I need to do is come down here and just choose a step file and say save and what it does it downloads the part for me so this works really nice I'm just gonna drag it up here out of the way uh, let me see which way I want to go I'll just I'll just get it preliminary in position I'll say okay so um, you'll see down here it's got the master car number if I right click I can come up here and go to properties and uh, it's got the part number for McMaster car a few other things steel that works pretty good so um, let me just you know just because I like it pretty uh, I'm gonna go to appearance so let me just put I don't know paint glossy I like let's just try I'm gonna put red on there there we go so uh, I'll close that and it's just, I don't know, it just looks nice. So, like I said, my fence is um, 30 inches, but my McMaster part is 36. So, you know, what am I gonna do about this? <laughs> so, a uh, pretty easy fix. So, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna I'm gonna highlight this part, all right, and I'm just going to place a sketch on the back. Yeah, that's good and uh, what I want to do is I am going to choose a two-point rectangle and I'm just going to come up here and yeah, I'm just going to put one there and I'm going to come down the other end and place another one down here All right. so um, what I'll do is I'll go to place a dimension on this and I'm going to make this three inches and the same with the other end three inches and I'm gonna stop the sketch I'll go to extrude and I'm gonna select both ends and I'm gonna come down here instead of new body I'm gonna say cut distance through all and let's see uh, let's change the direction that looks like it's probably going to work pretty good. I'll say okay. 
So what I've done is I've taken my master part car, uh, my master car part, and um, I've adjusted that to what length I want, 30 inches. So now I can use it within my model. So let's um, let's go back up to the assembly. All right. So what I can do now is I can place this, and I'm going to come up and use a joint and I'll use a rigid joint and since this still I'm going to put it on the center of the back and I'll place it in the center of my back corner and we're going to say okay so there we have it so that works really nice uh, exactly what I'm looking for um, so yes, you can edit some McMaster car parts uh, for length and whatnot, and that works really well. All right, so what I want to do is I want to put a carriage bolt in here with a washer on the back and maybe like a, a tri knob uh, to loosen that. So let's go back again. We're going to insert another McMaster car part. And we're going to go right here to, uh, which they, they have it uh, top front for a good reason. It's probably the most used uh, portion of this. So I'm going to go to a bolt. And let's um, let's see what they got here. Um, I'm going to come up here. Probably a round head. And you can come over here now and you can start uh, choosing uh, different uh, different aspects of what kind of bolt you want but I don't let's get back out of here well since I can't seem to find it how about if we just put in carriage bolt and it's there we go that's a lot better so since I couldn't find it, I can just come in, uh, type in what you want. They do have a great, uh, so I just, yeah, medium strength, grade five, that works fine for me. And I do want a quarter inch 20. So you can start doing filtering over here, or you can come down and go through the list as you like it. So uh, I'm probably going to need uh, better long than short. I'm going to say a two inch. And let's see, this is two inch full thread this looks pretty good so let me take a look and this I think is gonna work just fine all right so all I'm gonna do it's a step file I'm gonna say save and it will insert it into my design Again, this is the internet connection, so depending on what's going on, sometimes it's uh, it's quick, sometimes it's a little bit slow. Uh, let me just drag this out a little bit, and I'm going to kind of just generally pre-position a little bit. We'll say OK. So what I'll do is uh, I'll come up right away, and maybe I'll just assemble this. I'm going to put a joint, capture position. Let me zoom in here, and I want, I'm going to hold the shift key while I get that and I want that center and I'm going to say OK alright and now I'm going to say the second component and I'm going to come up and right there is and I do want a rigid connection no offset uh, I think that's going to be OK and that works pretty nice now, if you remember the last one, you see I put limits in here. You're going to see that this is going to work real nice on the limits. All right. So what I want to do now is put a quarter-inch washer back here. So let's go back to McMaster Car, find that. And right here is a nice heading for washers. And yes, I'll take a regular washer. And I can start either going in and I want a flat washer and I can come down here now and start choosing 
I'll take a quarter inch and now you can come up here and there's a whole plethora of uh, selection but I just want a general purpose and let's come down to quarter inch and let me open this up a little bit right. so right here at the top uh, just a simple washer uh, let's select this one here and I'm gonna to go to the product detail and the step file will say okay and it's going to insert it and let's drag this thing out of here someplace where I can get hold of it and I'll say okay so uh, I got my washer let's uh, put a join on this and I'm gonna say capture and I'm going to come up here and there. Now, this uh, this could be a little bit of a problem because I really don't have um, a way in here. So um, th th there's no way that I'm going to figure. So what I can I can experiment. I can just say you know what uh, I'm going to put it right there. However, I'm going to uh, place it down. And this one here can also maybe be a little bit of, of uh, trial and error. Um, so let me see if I can. All right. So I'm guessing it's going to be maybe minus, let's see, uh, minus 0.75. That could be a little bit too much, too much. So let me see if I can get an idea of so that distance is 0.05. So let me go in here and um, I'm going to edit the joint. And instead of points, I'm just going to put minus 0.7. That's much better. So here's one you know you kind of have to work with a little bit to try to figure out where it's going to go. And again, this is just uh, visual. It's not really that functional, but um, at least I got a, a good handle on it. Now um, the last thing I want is uh, that little uh, nut. So let me go to insert and master car again. Now for this one. Um, I I don't even know where to go so I think certainly uh, how about if I just put uh, a knob in there so let's just try those um, how about threaded knobs maybe we'll try that one all right and uh, I'm gonna come over here say threaded through hole and what else do we got to select there we go and I'm gonna yeah we can go four I'm gonna go three looks nice that's exactly what I'm looking for so I'm gonna come down here and right away is a uh, I see that I have a let's expand this a little bit all right and right here is a quarter by 20 uh, polypropylene plat yeah that's probably gonna work just fine and a buck 18 you can't go wrong so this looks good and I'm just inch and a half let's give it a try and I'll move this up out of the way and I'm going to rotate a little bit say okay and looks very nice so let me uh, assemble this I'll put a joint again I'm just going to choose that back face and yes it's going to be at a rigid joint and let me choose the face of the washer right there very nice and say okay so there it is um, 
this is uh, pretty much exactly what I'm looking for. This works pretty well. And again, um, if I come up here, I can just click it and slide it back and forth. And that is exactly what I want. So uh, the only other thing, this is getting a little bit long, 15 minutes, but the only other thing I would probably do is uh, copy and paste these in. So instead of selecting the individual parts, I would come over here and select all three parts, hold the shift key. So I get my three parts. Uh, I can say right click and I can say copy. And I can say copy move. So I'm going to say copy move and you're going to see right here and I'm going to say, well, right away I want to create a copy. And as soon as I do that, uh, this is going to place a copy. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this up out of the way. I'm going to say OK. Now, one of the things you got to be aware of is there are no constraints on this now. So uh, one thing that I kind of like to do is you're going to see over here now it's got the second instance of these. So what I can do is I can create a rigid group. So I can go to assembly and right here is a rigid group. I'll capture position. It's going to ask me for the components. So I'm just going to select this one, this one, and this one. I'm going to say OK. And now I've got a group. So um, I can come in here, assemble, joint, and I am just going to choose a rigid joint just like we did before. Let me get a little closer. And I'm going to select that face. I'll come around and select there. Now even though just the bolt went with it, you know, no no worries here. I'm just say okay and as soon as you say okay, it snaps back in and you've got now a rigid group in there. So it works real nice. Um, you can do the exact same thing for the other two holes and uh, I will. So uh, thank you uh, for joining me. I hope you uh, got a couple of nice little hints here. Um, this is my uh, router table build and it's come along rather nicely so uh, thanks for uh, joining me all right have yourself a great day and um, see you next time